As promised, President Biden has stopped construction of the U.S. border wall with Mexico, Donald Trump's signature project. All along the Texas-Mexico border. We're going to build a wall. A scene frozen in time. The Biden administration chose to do nothing. Once busy work sites, government contracted crews are set to break ground in the spring. Good for the economy, it was good for the valley, it was good for the people. Sit silent, gaping holes, the hallmark of a border wall. People are going to come into our country, but they're going to come into our country legally. Gone bust. There will not be another foot of wall constructed by my administration. With a stroke of a pen, President Biden bringing an abrupt end to Donald Trump's four-year fight to finish this wall. While the wall is mostly out of the national spotlight, the issue remains hot in the Rio Grande Valley, the busiest spot for illegal immigration in the country. It's 729, you start 710 KURV. Wall or no wall? In my audience, the KURV audience, which is generally business minded, they're business managers, business owners, and, and just hard working people, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, this audience, absolutely, they, they, they'd say yes to a wall. During the Trump administration, the U.S. government paved the way for hundreds of additional sections of wall to be built along the 2,000 mile border. <laughs> Biden ditched the project his first day in office. They're not worried about how it's hurting us here. A delight to Democrats. A wall is an immorality. And environmentalists. For every mile of border wall that they are building, they are clearing 20 acres of habitat. But a blow to outnumbered agents and officers tasked with slowing the flow of drugs. Without that infrastructure, without that barrier there, the cartels are free to cross our products anywhere that they want. And criminals increasingly able to bypass them and get deeper into the country. Human smuggling arrests are now skyrocketing here in the Rio Grande Valley. In Hidalgo County alone, they are now making several a day. The numbers are just going up. They'll go down for a week. They'll come right back up the next week. So I don't see an end in sight. Behind the scenes, a struggle of a different kind. We have one of the highest poverty rates. It's, it's uh, really uh, just uh, very disappointing. Sections of the wall like this one can be spotted all over the Rio Grande Valley now. When the Biden administration stopped construction of the wall, an estimated 5,000 people lost their jobs. What, what was your reaction? Well, it took it a bit hard because I was counting on, on that. I was counting on that job. So was Grand Chile Construction hired. The people came down from all over the country and hired local people. Then fired when the wall was nixed. How many people did you have to lay off after this happened? 40. This is where a section of the wall was going to be. Yes, right along the, right along the river here uh, was about a 4.7 mile segment. But the company is still on the hook for the millions it poured into a cement plant built just for the wall leasing land. It's about 35 or 40,000 a month we're carrying. And buying equipment, he says, the federal government won't let him use or sell. We're waiting. They, they say they're going to reimburse everyone, but uh, it hasn't happened yet. At this site, there are exactly 1,087 steel panels that would have been enough for two miles of border wall. This dried up paint can and some cobwebs reminders of what might have been. <laughs> It's just a bad deal. I laid off 32 employees. What do you think you might do? AJ Steel LLC, who made these panels, also remains in limbo. How much money did you lose when this stopped? Uh, I'm at it right now a little bit over $300,000. As bills pile up. I sent a certified letter last week demanding payment. From the contractor? From the contractor. And uh, he basically told me he said, I ain't got the money to pay you. And you're, you're stuck. Yes. And now the owners off of this property are asking me for $20,000 a month until all this material is moved out of here. 
the end of the day, if I don't get my money soon, I'll just take all this and scrap it. Like Garza and Grancelli, many South Texas contractors are hoping Governor Greg Abbott will make good on his promise to resume building the wall where Donald Trump left off. Had the border so closed, the best ever, and now it's coming through at levels that they've never seen before. Using $250 million in state money and taking donations to fill holes along the 1,200-mile stretch of border here. Texas is stepping up and doing a job that is truly the federal government's job. A plan that doesn't sit well with everyone. Definitely not allow states to uh, enact or, or govern themselves when it comes to this federal issue because it's not their issue. Polls show Texans are split over whether or not to build the border wall. Meanwhile, the country is on track for 2 million illegal crossings like this one in 2021. In South Texas, I'm Tara Mergener, CBN News.